Alrighty, so we have a really exciting announcement coming out of Hershey Park. Um, so it ended up being the hyper coaster that everyone was expecting, but it looks like a completely different layout than what people were expecting. And I'll explain that in just a second. So I'm going to go over the area. So first of all, I love that theme parks are adding this whole entrance plaza now where you can do some shopping and get some treats before you even enter the park. This is the kind of area that I'm expecting at parks like Carowinds, Canada's Wonderland and other parks that are massive um, in terms of attendance. It's a great feature to also bring in customers that don't necessarily want to go into the park, but they can wait for their families outside and hang out and do some shopping and get some food and stuff like that. So I think it's absolutely brilliant and it looks absolutely stunning at Hershey Park. This entrance plaza is definitely giving me somewhat Cedar Fair vibes with a Hershey Park blend. I absolutely love it. And then we get this little sneak peek to their new hyper coaster coming to Hershey Park. This looks stunning. So as you can see in the background, it doesn't turn back around where everyone thought it turned back around. So here's a great angle. See that? That's not a turnaround. It heads on over and does like this weird, um, it looks like an Ambison, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sorry, if you can't tell, I have a cold and my throat really kills. But um, it has like that, um, the element that you see on Shabala. And I'm <laughs> pronouncing that wrong too. Oh well. Um, but yeah, this coaster honestly looks really impressive. It's giving me like Mako vibes. Um, and I've heard really great things about Mako. Um, so I'm actually super excited for this coaster. I'll definitely be going to Hershey Park in um, 2020. It's their 15th roller coaster. Absolutely looks brilliant. The station is gorgeous. Um, and I love this little fountain kind of turn area. It, like when you enter the park in the animation, it looks absolutely stunning. The the curvature with the fountains and everything, it just looks amazing. And I couldn't be more excited for Hershey Park. So uh, just to get into a little detail, so you have your entrance area into Hershey Park. Again, guests can go shopping, buy food, um, get ice cream and stuff like that, and get their tickets before they enter the park. It's a nice big entrance area. It's absolutely amazing. Great concept. People who don't necessarily want to go into the parks that are bringing their kids or families can hang out there instead of going in the park. They have somewhere to hang out. Um, and I, I have a feeling it won't be too overly crowded uh, because most people will be inside the park shopping um, or riding rides. <laughs> so it's absolutely stunning. And that's this is the fountain and turn area on the Hershey Park Hyper Coaster. We have no name yet. Again, they said they weren't going to release any details until summer 2019, um, which kind of makes sense. Um, so it's a very beautiful fountain area. It's, it looks like it's uh, shaped to a Hershey kiss. And uh, yeah, so a couple of things they said is you think you know um, everything about this coaster, but you don't. So that was an interesting quote from the announcement that I watched um, and that they aren't announcing it today. They're just announcing their biggest expansion ever and showcasing a bit of the ride. Um, whatever they meant by you think you know it, everything about this coaster, but you don't. It's probably referring to some smaller details. Again, they left out a bit of the overall layout, but you get a gist of the layout. Um, that's why I don't want to make too many predictions about um, the turnaround area and which element that actually is, because it did look a little awkward on the animation here. Like it doesn't fully look like um, what you would see on other B&M coasters. So we'll have to wait for animation POV and all that. But from the sounds of it, that's not coming until summer 20, uh, 2019. So we'll have to wait a little bit to get a little more information. But um, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Because to me, this looks amazing. This is definitely better than my favorite B&M Hyper so far, uh, Behemoth, in my opinion. This looks way better. Um, I love the low to the ground moments this has as well. I wish more B&M Hypers had a lot of these lower to the ground elements. In fact, uh, I always say that about Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. I wish it kept closer to the ground throughout its layout a little longer. And I also wish it wasn't missing half its layout. Uh, but we won't get into that. <laughs> but yeah, this looks fantastic. I uh, definitely want to hear from you guys down below. What, what do you guys think about this coaster? Do you think it's exactly what Hershey Park needed? Um, I'm actually a lot more impressed than I thought it would be. Anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.